Hello friends, my name is Ankit and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to teach you German language. See, this chapter is very useful for beginners who want to learn German language. Seriously, it is very useful because you need to learn the basic pronunciation, the pronunciation rules, you need to learn lots of things like uh, grammatical portions and uh, introduction how to make negative sentence how to make interrogative sentence so you have to learn lots of things okay so firstly i have to say one thing that if you have any questions you uh, you can ask me on the comment box i will answer you and you if you have want to ask me personally you can whatsapp me and i will help you sure i uh, definitely i will help you so in today's lesson we are going to cover up some topics uh, some basic some very important topics and the topics are alphabets the pronunciation the name of alphabets like a b c d we are going to cover up that a alphabet song with a native pronunciation a native person will sing a rap song or alphabet for you and pronunciation practice some pronunciation rules we have to learn how to how to sound a uh, german word we have to learn some pronunciation rule it is very important then greetings we will do the pronunciation practice in greetings also and we have you have to learn greetings also then to be present like i am you are he is she is what we will call in german language we will do that haben haben means uh, to have we will do the conjugation of haben r z s v r z z with i u he i have you have she he has he has so like we have to do haben then the table of the it is very important because german language have 16 types of the there then them this the the there there does does the them this the the then there it's very typical we i will give you some basic things about the table the then again the table a uh, it's called ein ein then introduction the basic lines basic introduction in german language some introduction lines and uh, you will learn how to introduce yourself then negative negative portion mm, like you how, you how to make a line negative then interrogative interrogative part is also important but before proceeding i will say please watch this video at the end and subscribe my channel if you want to get new videos more and more videos please subscribe my channel i will be very thankful to you okay so let's proceed so now friends we are going to learn alphabets the alphabet is das alphabet alphabet das alphabet the alphabets is called the alphabet the alphabet so now a a is called a b is b c is c c is c c d is d e is a f is f g is g h is h i is e J is yot, it's yot. Then K is ka, L is l, M is m, N is n. Same as in English. L m n o is same as in English. L m n o. P is p. Q is q. R R is r, r. Yeah, sometimes it sounds like. Uh, 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 but it's R. Uh. So S is S, T is T, U is U, V is V, V, W is V, X is X, X, Y is Y, Y, Z Z is Z, Z. friends we have a character that is called umlaut the double dot you are seeing above the a o and u it is called umlaut 
so a umlaut ist er umlaut ist ö j umlaut ist ö then you are seeing a sign like a beta it's like a beta sign it's called etz etz the sound of etz is s it's like i say ich heiße ankit wie heißen sie heiße h e i s e t e heiße means called so s e t s sound is s and uh, we can write down s e t is like double s yeah we can write alternatively to double s okay so now i am uh, doing some fast like uh, fast read i am reading a b c d in the fast way a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z now i am singing a song for you a b c d e f g h i j k Alamana feku arrested ufa hove excellent set. Okay, so you have to learn, and one more important thing I have to say that uh, these are the name. These are the name of the alphabet. Some people ask me like, uh, sir, Guten, G U T E N. Why we are calling it Guten? Guten, Guten. We are why we are calling it Guten. Uh, we have to call it g u t a n no that is wrong it's a name alphabets these are the name of the al english alphabets and that is a sound like g sound is g we also use it as in english also like giraffe so we don't call it g e r r a we just have uh, simple we have to say giraffe so these are the sounds these are the name and we are now next we are going to read the sounds how we will pronounce a uh, combination some sound combinations a uh, consonant combination vowels combinations and uh, lots of thing we have to do okay so we are going to learn next the pronunciation rules a b c d e f g h i j k l M N O P Q R S T U V V X Y Z A B C D E F G H I H I J K L M N O P Q R Q R S T U V V X Y Z Z Z Z So friends we are now learning pronunciation rules pronunciation rule consonant some consonant combination we have a combination ch ch sh kh yeah we have all of the pronunciation like ch it is it depends upon the condition what the vowels we have like uh, ich the sound is ish ich sound is ish ech 
ECH sound is ash ash ECH ECH sound is ash ash ACH ACH sound is ah ah again listen properly ACH sound is ah ah now OCH OCH sound is oh oh I know it's very typical to pronounce like oh ha ha but you have to pronounce in the back of your mouth oh UCH UCH sound is oh oh UCH UCH is oh oh now now we are uh, for like uh, ch ch the ch ch sound is like we have a word milk it is milch in german m i l c h so we so sound is milch because we don't have a vowel we don't have a uh, umlaut with a vowel we just have a consonant consonant and the s consonant is not con uh, applicable in this uh, ch so because s c h is sure so we have lch so we are pronouncing it ilch so it is milch m i l c h is milch now c k k c k k p h f p h f some people pronounce it like p p yeah it's like a p and f mix it's not a proper f it's p and f mix double s sound is z yeah in german double s sound is z z and uh, sometime it's s also but uh, most of the time it's z and uh, whenever we have s with the vowel uh, we sound the sound is z always z like s e i d zait okay I K is eek, eek, eek. S C H, S C H sound is sh, sh. Again, S C H sound is sh, sh. Now T H C H, T H C H sound is ish, ish. Like uh, we have a word, doish, D E U T S C H, E U is I. And T S C H is ish, so it is doish. T H, tha, tha, tha. I G. Whenever you have I G in the last, you will pronounce it like e. E. Now we have one more thing I left before. Uh, it is D S C H. D S C H is J. Yeah, it's very complicated. D S C H is J. There is no, uh, not a rule of for this. It's exception. You have to accept it. D S C H is J. Okay. Now umlaut. If we have umlaut with a umlaut with C H, the sound is a ash, a ash, a ash. Listen carefully. A ash, a ash, a ash. Now os umlaut ch. The sound is yosh, 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 yosh. Now I have to say about we have some. Uh, it's not like that. Uh, like we have uh, o ch and o umlaut ch. The sound is same, uh, and the meaning is also same. No meaning is not same. Like we have s ch o n. Already, Sean. It is Sean. Sean is already, but we have S C H O umlauten. It is pretty, and the sound is Sean. 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 You umlaut C H. It is Yush. 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 Okay. So now on German vocabulary, German vocabulary, we have to learn now some vocabularies. So it is German English, German English, German English. So we are going to pronounce it. While, 
why while why not while while because ei sound is i it's like a i i e y i so while damn it damn it means so that you can see damn it damn it when 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 before means before before sorry before it is before before because v is fau v sound is fur so before before means before pals pals zait them here you can see e i is i and after s there is a e it is a vowel so it is called z so it is zait them zait them so that is so das das so das so zo das it's not so it's zo zo das we have vowel so zo das and zo weit zo weit was 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 woin 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 we feel here we have i e and we are pronouncing it is like e e so we we feel so now on the again we are, we are going to pronounce this line while 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 damit 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 when 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 before 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 pals 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 zait them zait them so das so das so das zo weit zo weit zo weit was 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 woin 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 we feel we feel we feel okay friends now your turn to repeat repeat uh, after me while good damit when before pals side them side them zo das zo weit was woin woin we feel okay now the next das das means that als op as if als op you see that lots of word are similar lots of combination are similar that in Eng from, from english it's very similar so das das als op as if als when when for the past it's not like when you are going it's like when you have gone okay so it's for the past tense when als then bis 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 means uh, until in them in them it means in which here we have them them means the in german but in this position we call it which so in which then zobald zobald now i am saying you something s after s o it is zo b a l d d is in the last when the letter d is in the last the sound is it t so zobald it's not t it's t 
Zobalta. Zobalt. As soon as. Now, Zuft. Zuft. As often as. Now, Verend. 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 Means while. Then, wo. Wo. Wo means where. Wo means where. Then we. We means how. We. We langa. Langa means long. We langa. How long? How long? It's we langa. So now I'm reading from while to we lang. While. Damit. When. Before. Falls. Zeit dem. So das, so weit, was, wohin, wie viel, das, also, als, bis, in dem, so bald, suft, während, wo, wie, wie lange. Now I am repeating this and repeat after me das again das das also 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 then als 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 okay now bis bis repeat after me Bees. Again repeat. Bees. Now, in them. In them. In them. Okay. Zobalt. Zobalt. Repeat it carefully after me. Zobalt. Zobalt. Again, once again. Zobalt. Then, Zuft. 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 Again, Zuft. Now, this is typical. Während, 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 während. Now, wo, wo. Repeat after me. Wo, wo. Now, wie, wie. V again V now V lang V lang it's not lange it's lang g we have the sound of E is like a uh, is like a chota a uh, uh, sorry it's like small a uh, V lang V lang okay now the next line so now a wall a wall means all do. A wall. Repeat after me. A wall. Good. Op. Op means if. Op. Als when. Als when. Als when. Eh. Eh. Before. Yeah, we have before. And eh both as I like before, but it uses it used in a position in a condition. I will later talk about this yeah, in next some um, some few chapter. We'll go when we'll go for the like uh, in this topic. Then we will talk about this. Okay, so it is eh nach them after which nach them nach them. Repeat after me. Nach dem. So lange. So lange. As long as. So lange. So lange. Warum? Why? Warum? Why? You, are, you must be thinking that why he is taking so much time for this pronunciation for this little bit. But uh, trust me friends, you have to practice. 
and the practice you have to do practice lots of practice for the pronunciation then you will get the tone of real german a uh, native pronunciation so continue vaum wow. repeat after me vaum wow. vaum wow. now woher 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 wo means where and woher means where from even we can use wo here like wo and at the first of the sentence first word and here at the last the meaning will be same wo here wo here common z where do you come from or i can say wo common z here both are okay where do you come from ish come out in the end i come from india okay wo here we oft how often we oft we oft we shall why for what reason like uh, uh, we ask somebody question why uh, why he is going and uh, sometimes we just ask why why it's like expression why so then we should say we shall we shall okay now i'm repeating the second line and the third line so tas also als bis in them zobalt zuft wahren wo we we lang a wohl ob als wenn eh nach dem so lang warum woher we oft we shall now the last line repeat after me and trust me this is the last one a wall a wall repeat good ob ob als wenn als wenn eh eh nach dem nach dem so lang so lang warum warum woher woher wie oft wie oft weshalb weshalb so guys keep practicing about german vocabulary learn some vocabulary learn this vocabulary use them practice them follow the rules there are all, lots of rules also and so follow the rules learn make your practice perfect and try to speak as a native person one thing more i have to tell you all of uh, some person ask me you want sir i want to pass german max miller bhavan go with exam the level a1 the level a2 okay uh, i understand but they ask how we have to learn so my answer is you have to focus on your four skill listening reading writing speaking listening reading writing speaking and if you have a native converse conversation with you native person with you that is the perfect thing just converse with him okay see you on the next topic and my our next topic is greetings these are the vocabulary and we are going to do now greetings now some greetings guten morgen guten tag guten abend guten nacht tag okay auf wiedersehen auf wiederhören Mach's gut. Danke. Bitte. Danke sehr. Bitte sehr. Vielen Dank. Willkommen. Tschüss. Brosch. Ausgezeichnet. Gut gemacht. So let's start from beginning. Guten Morgen. Guten is mean it means good. Sometimes it is good because it's a it's a conjugation. sometimes we use good sometimes we use gute sometimes we use guten it depends upon time so 
Guten Morgen, good morning. Guten Tag, guten Tag means hello, good day. Tag is also hello, tag is hi also, guten Tag is good day also, guten Tag is hello also. Okay, now guten Abend, Abend, guten Abend, guten Abend means good evening. Good evening. Repeat after me. Guten Abend. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht means good night. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. Now again, tag, tag. I already told you that tag is hello. Tag, hello is hi and hello. Tag is also hello. Tag is also hi. Hello is also hi. Hello, hello is also hello. Means so. Okay. Okay is okay. Is okay. 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 Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. But it is for singular. Remember. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. And it is a goodbye for singular person. Auf Wiedersehen. See guys, here we have a mistake and the mistake is on the O after H, there is O, you have to put down an umlaut. Yeah, it is W I E D E R H O umlaut R E N. So, auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Goodbye. Only for phone or radio. When you, you are in phone or on radio, you should say goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Marks good. Marks good. Marks good. Means good luck. Take care. Okay. Danke. Danke. Danke means thanks. Bitte. Bitte means you're welcome or please. Both. Bitte means please also. Bitte means you're welcome also. Okay. Danke sehr. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Danke sehr. Bitte sehr. Not at all. Mention not. Bitte sehr. Not at all. Mention not. Vielen Dank. Thanks a lot. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. Thanks a lot. Vielen Dank. Willkommen. Welcome. Willkommen. Welcome. Tschüss. Here we also have one more mistake. In on the U, you have to put umlaut. Just umlaut. Cheers. Cheers means bye bye, and it is for plural one. When you have plural, uh, but in Germany, uh, most of the person use cheers. Okay, cheers. Brushed. Cheers. Brushed. Cheers. Brushed. Cheers. Ausgezeichnet. Ausgezeichnet. It, it is typical one. Ausgezeichnet. Ausgezeichnet. Excellent. Gut gemacht. Well done. Gut gemacht. Well done. Now repeat after me. Guten Morgen. Guten Tag. Guten Abend. Guten Nacht. Tag. Hallo. Okay. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiederhören. Mach's gut. Danke. Bitte. Danke sehr. Bitte sehr. Vielen Dank. Willkommen. Schuss. Prost. Ausgezeichnet. Gut gemacht. Well done. Gut gemacht. Es tut mir leid. Es tut mir leid. Sorry. Sorry, if I've done, done some wrong. Es tut mir leid. Anschuldigung. Anschuldigung. Again, repeat after me. Anschuldigung. Excuse me. If you have to say, excuse me, sorry, so we should say, Anschuldigung, es tut mir leid. Anschuldigung, es tut mir leid. Ich liebe dich. I love you. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Dich is the second form of you. And I is ich. So, ich liebe dich. Ich mag dich. I like you. I like you. 
ish mag dish i like you das geht that is possible das geht that is possible das fraut mich that make me happy that pleases me das fraut mich das fraut mich okay alles klar is that clear or all clear alles klar alles klar feel gluck best of luck feel gluck best of luck guten appetit enjoy your meal guten appetit enjoy your meal appetit enjoy your meal enjoy our meal our meal enjoy our meal guten appetit anshul digen sie bitte excuse bitte excuse me please it is excuse me please so friends repeat after me es tut mir leid es tut mir leid mir it's mir leid es tut mir leid okay es tut mir leid anschuldigung 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 ich liebe dich ich liebe dich ich mag dich ich mag dich das geht das geht das fraut mich uh, can you see that uh, i'm uh, using fraut fraut is f r e u t i'm not using is fruit i'm using fraut f r e u t it's fraut because fraut fraut is why because e u is oi oi fraut so das fraut mich alles klar is that clear alles klar feel gluck feel gluck feel gluck feel gluck guten appetit guten appetit anschuldigen sie bitte anschuldigen sie bitte okay these are the basic greeting we have to learn and uh, now i am going to teach you to be present to be present means i am you are he is she is so i am going to teach you to be present haben and two more it's okay so just wait so we are going to learn the present tense of sein haben werden and wissen sein means to be haben means to have werden means to become and wissen means to know so first ich bin ich bin du bist du bist er sie es ist wir sind ihr seid sie sie sind so i is ich i am is ich bin you are is du bist and er sie es it is he she it is he she it is yeah he is she is it is we are sind we are sind er seid er seid we are sind means we are we are er seid means you are then sie sind sie sind we have two z here first z is you and second z is they sie sind you are they are so guys we have three u here first one is do second one is ear and third one is z what's the difference the do is informal singular informal singular and ear is informal plural informal plural z is formal singular and plural but remember one thing we have three z also first z the r z s and this z is she she okay z is she then we have 
टू जी हेयर फर्स्ट वन इज इन द कैपिटल लेटर एंड सेकेंड वन इज इन स्मॉल लेटर तो सो द कैपिटल लेटर एस इज यू इट्स फॉर यू एंड स्मॉल लेटर एस जी इज फॉर स्मॉल इट्स ए दे इट्स मीन्स ये दे सॉरी इट्स मीन्स दे सो वी ऑलवेज यूज कैपिटल लेटर ऑन यू एस इज कैप कैपिटल ओके सो आई एम यू आर ही इज शी इज इट इज वी आर यू आर देन यू आर दे आर ओके नाउ हाबेन इश हाब इश हाब इश हाब दू हास्त दू हास्त दू हास्त दू हास्त एर हाथ जी हाथ एस हाथ एर हाथ जी हाथ एस हाथ वेर हाबन वेर हाबन एयर हाफ्ट एयर हाफ्ट एयर हाफ्ट जी हाबन जी हाबन अगेन जी हाबन जी हाबन सो दीज आर कॉल द वर्ब कॉन्जुकेशन हेयर यू कैन से दैट वी हैव ई ऑन द फर्स्ट एच ए बी आफ्टर दैट ई देन वी हैव एस टी देन वी हैव टी देन वी हैव ई एन देन टी देन ई एन दिस इज कॉल्ड वर्ब कॉन्जुकेशन ओके अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग आई एम यू आई एम सॉरी टू बी एंड टू हायर इश बिन दो बिस्त एर इस्त जी इस्त एस इस्त वेयर जिंद एयर जायत जी जिंद जी जिंद इश हाब दो हास्त एर हाथ जी हाथ एस हाथ वेयर जिंद सॉरी वेयर हाबन एयर हाफ्ट जी हाबन जी हाबन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टू बिकम वर्डन सो इट इज वर्डे वर्डे इश वर्डे इश वर्डे दू वेस्ट दू वेस्ट do waste er wed er wed er wed z wed z wed s wed s wed where wedin where wedin er wedet er wedet z wedin Z word in. Okay, now we are going to learn to know reason. So here you can see that uh, asset is used on the first three and don't double s. Doesn't matter. You can use asset. You can use double s. Both are applicable, and both are allowed. So ish wise, ish wise, do wise, do wise, er wise. Z wise, S wise, Air wise, Z wise, S wise. Where we sin, where we sin, where we sin. Air wist, Air wist, Z wisten, Z wisten, Z wisten. I have to tell you one thing. The form of sign haben werden wissen if you use this form this is called infinitive form this is called infinitive form and the form we are using in like uh, ish bin do bist or ish hab do hast that bist hast that hab that werden that wise is called finite form finite form so you have to remember because in german there are two types of verbs also regular verbs irregular verbs the regular verbs are those which have their particular 
conjugated form this is called conjugation verb conjugation so regular verb are those which which has their particular conjugation form there is a pattern and irregular verbs are those they don't have any pattern these four are irregular verbs they don't have any pattern so but i am going i'm going to tell you that uh, if your verb like uh, arbeiten so like tanzen tanzen means to dance arbeiten means to work in tanzen t a n z is the stem form and e n is the radical form and in regular verb only radical get changed like tans 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 tansen only radical get changed not stem and in in irregular verb all the pattern get changed or any anything get changed you can see on sein bin bist ist sind seit sind okay one thing more i am going to tell you that he she and it er z and s has the same form where z and z has the same form okay and where z and z always use infinitive form for their conjugation so don't have to conjugate it but in to be present sein in behalf of sein they are using sind this is the difference only in to be otherwise you will always see z z and uh, where you are using the base form like haben you can see in haben where is also haben z z is also haben in werden where is werden z z werden then wissen you can see where wissen and z z wissen okay i think you uh, are all are able to understand this and uh, i think you can do all the things if you have any question you can ask me on the comment box and i will be very grateful to give you the answer okay thank you so now we are going to learn german articles the table of the you can see in the left side case nominative accusative dative and genitive please note down nominative accusative dative and genitive see nominative means subject subject accusative means direct object direct object dative means indirect object indirect object and genitive means of the owner so as we can see we have see, we have 16 types of the and in german there are three genders masculine feminine and neuter so masculine feminine and neuter and uh, one more category is plural so we have 16 type of the in english we use the as nominative case the accusative case the dative case the genitive case the all is the but now in german we use there see whenever we have er we sound is er ir er 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 so it is now there then them this we have to learn like this there then them this not like this there the das the it's not a good pattern we have to learn like this there then them this the the there there das das them this das das them this the the then there so where we have to use nominative where we have to use accusative where we have to use dative where we have to use genitive we are now we will talk about this nominative case is like subject like the pen the book 
द कार द बैग सो द पेन इज द स्टिफ्ट बिकॉज द पेन इज मैस्कुलिन द पेन इज मैस्कुलिन इट इज द स्टिफ्ट नाउ द बुक दास बुक Firstly, I am going to explain you the spelling of stift. S T I F T, S T I F T stift. Now, book is B U C H, book. Das book because book is neuter. Bag, tasha. T A S C H E, the bag. D tasha, D I D tasha. ओके द अल्फाबेट दास अल्फाबेट ना प्लूरल वन द अल्फाबेट्स दी अल्फाबेट दी अल्फाबेट ओके सो दिस इज द नॉमिनाथिव केस वी आर यूजिंग इट्स ऑन व्हेन द आर्टिकल इज ऑन द और यू कैन से द नाउन इज ऑन द सब्जेक्ट पोजीशन then you have to use the uh, as a nominative case now accusative case accusative case is used in the direct position direct position like uh, i have the table ishab dandish i have i have is ishab and now then द आकुजाते पोजिशन देन तिश टी आई एस सी एच टेबल इज मैस्कुलिन टेबल इज मैस्कुलिन सो वी आर यूजिंग इश हाब देन तिश आई हैव द टेबल आई हैव द बैग और यू कैन से यू हैव द बैग एज एन इनफॉर्मल so in formal you have the bag so do hast you have is do hast do hast di tasha because bag is feminine see it, it doesn't depend upon the person who is talking or for whom you are talking about the gender defines in in european culture in german culture gender is defined from noun nouns the article contract is between nouns uh, nouns gender so we have to use that gender the gender of noun so bag is feminine we are using the and we are using the accusative case the tasha so ishab sorry do has the tasha okay they have the car they have the car they have zi haban they have zi haban the car car is neuter auto i uh, have listened uh, heard that volkswagen das auto the car das auto so car is neuter they have the car sie haben das auto sie haben das auto sie haben das auto now they have the cars now we don't need to identify the gender of car we just take the of they have the cars so z haben the auto it means they have the cars okay now dative case dative case is like indirect indirectly you have to say something indirectly uh, i know some prepositions and some cases where we can use it easily like with mit mit means with mit means with so if i am going to say okay i am going to take nach preposition nach nach means after whenever you have nach mit außer seit bei you will use dative dative case of course you will use dative case and we will talk about with description in the next chapter in the next uh, video i will give you the proper description of accusative nominative accusative dative and genitive 
here we are just uh, taking a small description okay so nak what are you doing after work what are you doing after work was marks do nach der arbeit here work is not verb it is in the noun position so we are taking work work <coughs> work is feminine and uh, we are taking it at der so was marks do nach der arbeit okay one more example of uh, this uh, the tourist information is opposite the station the tourist information is opposite the station so das verkehr bureau das verkehr bureau is gegenüber dem bahnhof das verkehr bureau is gegenüber dem bahnhof now i am taking uh, something adjective uh, trigger like uh, are you well get as they are good get as they are good genitive case uh, require the following prepositions like start auser help inner help warrant mm, so i am taking some examples we were late due to an accident we were late due to an accident wegen eines unfalls kamen wir zu spät wegen eines unfalls kamen wir zu spät here eines is in the genitive position and eines means ein ein means a now one uh, example for like uh, basic example for, for genitive so basic example is i have the pen of my father i have the pen ich habe den stift auf meines vater vater father is masculine or in minus we are using the masculine genitive case minus vater des we replace es we, uh, we will add es on the mine and it is minus so ish hab then stift of minus father now i am telling you something like uh, how will you define masculine feminine and neuter ending masculine feminine neuter gender uh, approx it is defined by endings the endings of the nouns so i am telling you sir, some some endings you should note down that so please please note down that for the masculine ending the endings are ant a n t ant like consonant k o n s o n a n t consonant then asked a s t asked like palast means palace then ish i c h ish tapish tapish means carpet t e w p i c h tapish so it is masculine i g honish honish means honey h o n i g ling l i n g ling liebling l i e b l i n g liebling means darling o r motor motor means engine m o t u r motor means engine then u s us so materialism materialism yes materialism is materialism is is materialism okay it's uh, also masculine so these are the endings of masculine now endings of uh, feminine before endings of feminine i have to say that there is exception in masculine of or das labor l a b o r labor labor means laboratory das labor and it is neuter word exceptions are everywhere now feminine endings feminine endings are a 
Note down firstly note down the ending. A A and Z E I E N Z H E I T I E I K I U N K E I T T A Umlau T S C H A F T U N G U R These are the endings of feminine but there are some exceptions in feminine also so the exceptions are sofa das sofa it ends in a but it is neuter das jani das yani it is genius neuter das abitu abitu levelly means levelly it is also neuter okay note uh, note that about 90% of nouns about 90% of nouns ending in e are also feminine about 90% of nouns ending in e are also feminine but exceptions always there das oige means i das oige means i das intege means interest das kaise k a um laut s e kaise means cheese hey friends if you have any problem like uh, i am not giving you notes and i am just talk talking and you are writing down so if you have any note no, not to worry at all next few in next uh, few chapters you will get nouns and gender full chapter okay these uh, because uh, this is your first lecture and i am giving you the notes so just write it down just try to remember it i will give you the lecture again uh, with the full description okay now neuter ending neuter endings are c h e n chen c h e n chen like mai a chen m a m laut r c h e n m a m laut r c h e n like il i l l das ventil so v e n t i l martian means hai, martian means is a uh, fairy tale ventil means wall l e i n next ending l e i n man line m a m laut double n l e i n man line means little man then m a rama D R A M A Rama means Rama. M E N T instrument. I N S T R U M E N T instrument. Instrument is instru instrument. O outer means car. O outer means car. U M um centrum means center. U M um centrum means center. S two exceptions here also. D F E M A means company. F I R M A company the female it's a feminine. Their rajtum means well. R E I C H T U M R E I C H T U M rajtum wealth. So, like uh, there are some combinations of nouns like compound nouns. Their computer means the computer. The computer is masculine plus tas spiel means the game. now there is a rule uh, the computer with the spiel is if you, i have to say the computer game so we will not use the first word gender it is computer spiel and I, we will not use the first word gender we will use the last the spiel is das so we will use das computer spiel das computer spiel the spelling is d a s das C U M P U T E R computer S P I E L spiel das computer spiel. Again, I am saying not to worry. I will give you the chapter for nouns and gender and the table of the also. It's just a short description. Okay, if we are combining three words, again the same thing. Their bauch, their thans, the lahrin. So the teacher of belly dancing. 
Laren means teacher, Laren, Tans means dance, and Bauch means ballet. So we, so we will use last one, Laren, the Bauch Tans Laren. Okay. So friends, if you need uh, some help, you can uh, WhatsApp me on my number. I'm giving the number in below in the in the description. You I have given already given my number and the comment box I am also giving you the number if you have any problem you can contact me on whatsapp and if you can wait just wait for a week within a week you will get next videos for this so the next topic is table of a today we are going to learn table of a also okay so see you on next topic so we are going to learn now the table of a Again, masculine, feminine, neuter, plural, nominative, accusative, dative, and genitive. So, repeat after me. The rules are same. Uh, here we have plural like kind. So, uh, so, we can understand that A doesn't have plural form. So, here is kind. Kind means no. Okay. The endings are same. So, ein, ein, einen. Einen, einem, einem, eines, eines, einer, 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 ein, ein, einem, eines, ein, ein. Ein, ein, einem, eines. Keiner, keiner, keinen, keiner. Okay, repeat after me. Ein, ein, einen, einen, einem, einem, eines, eines, einer, einer, einer. Einer, 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 ein, ein, einem, eines. Now some example. Mm, I'm giving exercise. Uh, example. My father has a car. My mother has a house. So now try. Try, I am giving you 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I will tell you the answer. Just try. So now, my father has a car, my father, mein Vater, has hat, mein Vater hat, car is neuter, auto, auto is neuter, and it's a direct case. So mein Vater hat ein auto, mein Vater hat ein auto. Now the next one, my mother has a house. Meiner Mutter, M U T T E R, M U T T E R, Meiner Mutter, Mutter hat ein Haus, because house is house and the spelling is H A U S. Meiner Mutter hat ein Haus, Meiner Mutter hat ein Haus. For example, he has a pen, he has a pen. I'm giving you 20 seconds. Try. Uh, 
so he has a pen er hat einen stift i think most of you are correct er hat einen stift next line she has a bag she has a bag again 20 second so she has a bag z hat eine tasche z hat eine tasche okay so now then we are going to the next topic and the next topic is introduction in german language oh, it's very interesting okay vorschlagen introduction how to introduce yourself in german how to say my name is i am from i live in i am years old dash years old my profession is my mother tongue is i speak my hobbies are i like i don't like how to say so let's now start ish hi sir ish hi sir ish hi sir means i called see uh, actually we pronounce in german we have three forms first one is ish hi sir it's called i am called ish hi sir ankit i am called ankit we hi sir see what do you call yourself or i can say my name is ankit my name is ankit mine m e i mine no down the spelling no down mine m e i mine any i mean name any i mean name is i s t is is i s t is is so my name is ankit my name is ankit then the third form that is totally informal ish bin i am so ish bin ish bin ish bin ankit is called i am ankit but it is actually it is not usable in germany germany we don't use ish bin so next is ish komme aus ish means i you don't know ish komme aus then komme means Come means come. I come from. Ish come aus. I come from. Yeah, it's not I am from. It's I come from. So, ish come aus Indian. I come from India. Ish come aus Indian. I come from India. Ish wohne in. I live in. Ish wohne in. I live in. It's simple. Ish wohne in. I live in means I live in Lucknow. So I ish wohne in Lucknow. L U C K N O W Lucknow. I live in Lucknow. Ish born in Lucknow. Then Ish bin Dry Un Dry Si Yaha Alt. I am thirty three years old. So I am is Ish bin thirty three. Dry Un Dry Si Ish. Dry Un Dry Si Ish. Three and thirty. Three and thirty years old. Yaga alt. Okay. Ish bin Lehrai von Beruf. My profession is teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, I have to say, uh, say that. Unterrichten. Unterrichten. I am. Unterrichten means teaching. So, Ish bin Unterrichten von Beruf. I said that. Teacher, Lehrer is teacher. So ich bin Lehrer, I am teacher. Or ich bin Unterrichten von Beruf. Meine Muttersprache ist. Meine Muttersprache ist Hindi, English und Deutsch. My mother tongue is Hindi, English and German. Hmm, I can say my mother tongue is Hindi. So my name is Shpaka Isht Hindi my mother tongue is Hindi Ish Prashe I speak Ish Prashe 
हिंदी इंग्लिश टॉश चीनोजिश उन जापानिश सो इश्प्रख स्पेश हिंदी इंग्लिश डॉइश फ्रांसोजिश चीनोजिश उन जापानिश मायनाबीज आर मायनाबीज आर फुसबॉल स्पिलेन उंड हेवन म्यूजिक माई हॉबीज आर प्लेइंग फुटबॉल एंड लिसनिंग म्यूजिक इश्माग that you can write anything is my audio like ish mark dash nisht nisht means not i don't like so you can write anything you want like ish mark this ish mark that or ish mark ish mark dash nisht anything you want i have written on the profession so engineer engineer carpenter bautischler आर्किटेक्ट आर्किटेक्ट मेलमैन मेलमैन सॉरी मेलमैन ब्रीफ ट्रैक पायलट तेरा पायलट टीचर लहरे कुक कॉक नेगेटिव फॉर्मूला सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न नेगेटिव फॉर्मूला ओके गुटन टाग इच बिन फ्राउ शिला इच बिन इरे डॉच लेरिन वी इस इर नामे Hallo, mein Name ist Cem Gül. Und woher kommen Sie? Aus der Türkei. Wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Lena Barisova. Ich komme aus Russland. Und wie heißen Sie? Mein Name ist Ana Sanchez. Ich komme aus Brasilien. Und Sie? Ich bin Alfia Fedorova. Ich komme aus Kasachstan. Und wer sind Sie? Ich bin Herr Tang. Ich komme aus China. Hello friends, my name is Ankit and today I'm going to teach you German language. So, guten Tag. Guten Tag means hello, guten Tag means good day. Tag is also good day and Tag is also hello also. So, guten Tag, ich bin Frau Schilo. Hello, I am Frau Schilo. Ich bin Ihre Deutschlerin. I am your German teacher. Wie ist Ihre Name? And what is your name? Hallo, mein Name ist Sam Gul. Hallo, mein Name ist Sam Gul. Und woher kommen Sie? And where do you come from? Aus der Türkei. I come from uh, uh, from Turkey. Wie heißen Sie? How do you call yourself and what is your name? You can say both. Ich heiße Lena Borisova. I am called Lena Borisova. Ich komme aus Russland. I come from Russia. Und wie heißen Sie? And what is your name? And and means and how do you call yourself? My name is Ana Sanche. Ich komme aus Brasilien. My name is Ana Sanche. I come from Brazilian. Und Sie? And you? Ich bin Alfia Fedorova. Ich komme aus Kazakhstan. Ich bin Alfia. I am Alfia Fedorova. I come from Kazakhstan. And und where sind Sie? And who are you? Ich bin Herr Tang. I am Mr. Tang. Ich komme aus China. I come from China. So friends, you can call yourself like uh, my name is Ich heiße. Common means coming, come. And I talk about woher and wo. Wo means where and woher means where from. Okay. So learn it and uh, we are going for the next chapter okay Herr Gül wo wohnen Sie jetzt Ich wohne in Frankfurt Frau Sanchez wo wohnen Sie auch in Frankfurt Und Sie Frau Borisova wo wohnen Sie in Steinbach wo wohnt Herr Tang Er wohnt in Bad Homburg. Wo wohnen Sie? Hören Sie und lesen Sie. Wo wohnen Sie means where do you live? Hören Sie means listen you und lesen Sie means and read you. Hergul, 
वो वोनेन जी एट्स मिस्टर गुल वेर डू यू लिव नाव येट्स मीन्स नाव इश वोने इन फ्रांकफोर्ट आई लिव इन फ्रांकफोर्ट फ्रांसांशे वो वोनेन जी मिसेस आंशे वेर डू यू लिव आउट इन फ्रांकफोर्ट ऑल्सो इन फ्रांकफोर्ट उन जी फ्राउ बोरी सोवा वो वोनेन जी एंड यू मिसेस बोरी सोवा वेर डू यू लिव इन स्टाइन बाग I live in Steinbach. In Steinbach. Wo wohnt Herr Tang? Where do you live, Mr. Tang? I wohnt in Bad Homburg. I live in Bad Homburg. Okay, that's for today. See you tomorrow. So, friends, now we are going to learn negative formula. Negative formula: the subject plus helping verb plus nish plus sentence. Firstly, I will tell you that there are three types of form. First is nine, kind, and nish. Nine means no. Kind means actually kind negates noun, and nish negates verb. So whenever you have to negate noun in the sentence, you 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 will use kind, and kind has its own table. And when you want to negate nish, you use if you want to negate verb, use nish. Okay, so the formula of nish is subject plus helping verb plus nish plus sentence. subject plus helping verb plus nish plus sentence but if you don't have nish suppose how because in german language there is a rule if you have ing in the action of verb form it means if you have present continuous tense like i am working so if you have ing in the action of verb form you will not translate is am are has been have been listen again if you have ing in the action of verb form you will not translate is am are has been have been it means you don't have to translate helping verb so ing form if you have if you have the ing form you will not translate ing and you will not translate is am are has been have been so like i work i am working i have been working so i work means ish arbeiter i am working same is ish arbeiter i have been working is same ish arbeiter all are same ish arbeiter ish arbeiter ish arbeiter okay so that's why sometimes helping verb doesn't exist so subject plus helping verb plus nish if you have the helping verb you will put the nish after the helping verb but if you don't have the helping verb you will put nish at the last of the sentence like i am not working so ish arbeiter nish okay now kind kind has its own table own table so again the same pattern nominative accusative dative and genitive masculine feminine neutrum and plural so kind kainen kainam kainas kain kainen kainam kainas again and the slow time kain kainen kainam kainas kaina kaina kainer kainer kaina kaina kainer kainer kain kain kainam kainas kain kain kainam kainas kain kain kainam kainas kaina kaina kainen kainer kaina kaina kainen kainer kaina kaina kainen kainer okay now have some example like uh, that is not loin that is not loin loin is live that is das now try yourself i am giving you 10 seconds das ist keine live das ist kaina leo okay he is not here 
again I am giving you 10 seconds. Er ist nicht hier. Er ist nicht hier. E R R I S T is N I C H T A nicht and H I E R here. Okay. So here we have nicht after the helping verb and is it means is is a helping verb. Now they are not dancing in the house. See dancing is thansen T A N Z E N. T A N Z E N houses house H A U S house and they you know it is Z so I am giving you twenty seconds for this So, wir gehen zur Schule nicht. Wir gehen zur Schule nicht. Okay, I think it's uh, enough for negative. Let's go for interrogative form. Okay. A question formula. What is the question formula? Question word plus subject plus verb plus sentence. Yes, we can do this. Question word plus subject plus verb plus sentence. But we can also use verb plus subject plus sentence yeah verb plus subject plus sentence so example why your brother is dancing in the house why your brother is dancing in the house so why means warum warum your brother dein Bruder dancing dance in the house Warum dein Bruder tanzt in das Haus? It's okay. But you can also make it Warum tanzt dein, dein Bruder in das Haus? Warum tanzt dein Bruder in das Haus? Okay. Now some question words. When? Wann? Wo? Where? Was? What? Wie? How? Wie viel? How much? Where? Who? Warum? Why? Welche? Welches? Means which? We feel how much? We how? So next, I am going to give you numbers also. Okay. See you on next topic. So now we are going to learn numbers. Yeah, number from 1 to 100. So, eins. Zwei, eins, zwei, vier, vier, fünf, fünf, sechs, sieben, sieben, acht, acht, neun, 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 repeat after me, neun, zehn, 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 elf, 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 zwölf, zwölf. See, Z sound is like S, huh? so it's zwölf, zwölf, dreizehn, 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 vierzehn, vierzehn. Fünfzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn, achtzehn, neunzehn, neunzehn, zwanzig, zwanzig, dreißig, dreißig, vierzig, vierzig, fünfzig. Fünfzig, sechzig, sechzig, siebzig, siebzig, achtzig, achtzig, neunzig, neunzig, 
ein undert ein undert or you can say undert also so what is the logic how they use see till 20 you have to learn ein zwei drei vier fünf sechs sieben acht neun zehn elf zehn dreizehn vierzehn fünfzehn sechzehn siebzehn achtzehn neunzehn zwanzig and you have to learn from uh, till 20 after 20 if you want to pronounce like 21 so it will be ein und zwanzig means one will be first then you have to write und then zwanzig means 20 so one and 20 it is ein und zwanzig okay like you have to write three th uh, 34 so vier und dreißig 24 24 54 54 64 64 75 75 75 65 85 85 98 Act und neunzig. Ninety-eight. Act und neunzig. Ninety-nine. Nine und neunzig. See, till hundred we use this pattern. And now if you have two hundred twenty-two, then to, so you will use zwei undert. Means two hundred. Zwei und zwanzig. Zwei undert, zwei und zwanzig. Means two hundred, two and twenty. If you want to use six hundred seventy-eight. So, sechs undert, acht und siebzig. Sechs undert, acht und siebzig. Sechs undert means six hundred, eight and seventy. Act on zipsy. Zex undert act on zipsy. So till 999 you can use. Now I'm giving you some exercises. Just go ahead and practice. Uh, 954. I'm giving you 10 seconds. Okay. 900. 954 Next 888 Okay 800 So till triple nine you can use this pattern and this is for today thank you so much for watching this video hey guys thank you so much for watching this video i think you enjoy it or uh, if there is any mistakes please uh, give me your feedback i will love to see that and uh, please subscribe my channel please like this video if you like it if you want another videos if you want like uh, please select the bell icon also so we, you will get the notifications and uh, literally i will try my best to give you best knowledge okay one thing more the chapter we have done today it is sufficient for three to four days so three to four days you have to learn this in between that i will upload the new video for you and in the next topic i am thinking that i will upload the table of the complete uh, nominative accusative dative and genitive case and complete nouns and gender and uh, so guys please support please like please watch my videos if you have any complaint please give me your feedback you can give me your feedback on whatsapp on facebook on comment box and uh, i will love to uh, give you the answer and if I have done some mistake I will love to uh, learn it okay
थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग बाय हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू फ्रेंच एल्फाबेट्स सो ए लेटर ए इज आ बी इज बे से दे ए सी ई इज अ एंड ए बोथ देन एफ जी आश आश ई झी का एल एम एन ओ पे क्यू क्यू आर आर एस ते यू वे डुब्लू वे एक्स इग्हैक जेड एक्स इग्हैक जेड ओके दीज आर द ए बी सी डीज एल्फाबेट्स ऑफ फ्रेंच थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज अंकित एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू साउंड ऑफ फ्रेंच कॉन्सनेंट टूडे सो लाइक सम लेटर्स B D K L. This is L, not one. B D K L M N P S T V Z. In French, the sound is same as in English. In English, the sound is same as in. But me, it means both are same. Both sounds are same. But now I am talking about C. Let us see. Before E I Y, if there is C, the sound is S, like S Nema. S Nema. A O U before A O U if if the letter is C the sound is K like cow cow C S D A you see a sign a small sign that is called S D I L A so if you have S D I L A in C and if it is before before A O U there is S D I L A C S D I L A so the sound is S so it is called fonse fonse ch ch is sh and au sound is a so it is short before e i y if there is g the sound is j so it is aj it is aj before a o u if there is g the sound is g so it is gato e a u sound is u so it is gato G N, G N, G N sound is N like onion, like you sound onion. So N, so it is A N E O. See A is A, G N is N, E A U is U. So A N E O. So now H H is always silent, so it's called Om. J J sound is J, so J is A C K. U E S छाके Q E sounds K and Q I sounds K so it is छाके Note on one thing E S T these three letters are silent always in French if it is in the last if the letter E S T in last it is silent so झाके now Q U sounds K Q Q sounds K, so it is Q U I S K. Of course, I already told you that Q U I S K. Now R R is pronounced in back of mouth, rolled like light gurgling sound. So it is pahi, pahi, pahi. Now double S double S sound is S tas S beginning of word or before or after consonant. Sound same. Sal, this k. Absio, absio. Now s between vowels. S between two vowels. So it is 
Z. The sound is Z. So it is maison. Maison. TH sound is ta. So it is te. Te. X. X sound is like exactly like a guz in exact. Excellent. Same as in English. Now double L. If the double L is in between two vowels and the vowel is I and E. First one is I, second one is E. If you have double L the and the in between two vowels, I and E. First is I, second is E. Then the sound is Y. So it is volai. Volai. Then double L. Normal double if you have uh, double L in the normal position, like if with any other con uh, vowels. So the sound is same. L. So it is L. E double L is sound is L. Thank you for watching this video. I will give you new videos soon as soon as possible. Please subscribe and click the bell icons to get new videos notification only. Thank you so much. Hello friends, my name is Ankit and I am going to teach you French vowels, the sound of French vowels. How many vowels are there in French? A, E, I, O, U, Y and H is also a semi-vowel. So, now I am going to teach you the conditions. If there is combinations of vowels and the conditions, vowel come into any condition. So, how, how will you pronounce it? So, on the first, there is a a with normally then a with ghav or a with circumflex a the sound is a like in father la then e with agu then er or ez if these three one of these three come in at the end of the word the sound is a so it is like le te pahale ale then E plus if you have E in between two consonant it is a sound like normal set met get wet exactly the same it is bell then E with ghav or AI with circumflex A the sound is same like met set get wet so it is peg shen now E is like U, like in alone. So it is like L, Lave, L, Lave. Then EU, OEU. If it is followed by a consonant, then the sound will be like loose sound, like L, Ko, L, Ko. But if it is not followed by any consonant, like E U O E U, is never followed by any sound, any consonant. The sound is tight. So it is foo, woo. Okay. I sound is E. So it is like E C, E C. Then I plus vowel. When I plus vowel comes, any other vowel comes. The sound I convert it into Y. So it is like Leon, Bean, Leon, Bean. Then O, A, U, E, A, U, and O with circumflex A. The sound is O, like in cot, O. So it is Mot, Shot, Bo, Bo. Okay? O, U is U, so like two. Toot like woo. Then OI sound is wa. So it is moa. 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 OI sound is also wa. Followed by a Y sound, no equivalent in English. So OI sound is wa. Say kowa. Kowa. Kwa. It sounds typical to speak, but try. Practice makes man's perfect. U, U sound is uh, no equivalent in English. Uh, it's like E, say E, then round your lips. U, U, say this, U, 
to move to move then ui sound is v v v v okay that's enough for today then on the next lecture i will give you some more things some vowels combination and, and some more things to learn and within two lectures i will start the chapters of french the level a one you want to learn you want to give exam in arlen's france and you have want to get international certificate so i will prepare you for that thank you so much hello friends uh, today i'm going to teach you french sounds the nasal sounds yeah uh, these are some nasal combinations and some things so we, i'm going to teach you french nasal sound now i will start from the first like a and e and the sound is ah so it is fans a and e and like vowel in ba so it is like farm this is a nasal sound but if you have a double n e double n the sound is an n because you have double n but if you have single n the sound is ah so it is pans em sound is pa but is amans amane amane mane amane i n a i n e i n the sound is like is is man so it is pan pan nasal sound i am a i am the sound like a man in fa fa i plus vowel again i plus vowel in the last lecture i teach you what is the sound of when you have i then another vowel so it is i becomes y so it is ba then i u n station station then o i now o i sound is wa so it is le vent le vent o n sound is on o m sound is on so it is bon tombe tombe u n sound is a uh, like lighting like in lung so it is a a a so friends this is these are the combinations of nasal sound vowel plus nasal sounds next lecture i will start some dialogues some chapters see you next time thank you hey sanket welcome to my youtube channel and today i am going to start the lesson lesson 1 of french lesson 1 part 1 dialogues so Florence bonjour Christophe Christophe Florence quel bon c'est fait comment vas-tu Bonjour Christophe Florence quel bon bon c'est fait comment vas-tu Florence ça va et toi et toi oui ça va toi très bien merci Florence je te fais un test Stéphanie très bien merci Florence je te fais un test Stéphanie Achante de faire votre connaissance. Achante de faire votre connaissance. Achante. Stephanie est italienne. Stephanie est italienne. Elle étudie la musique baroque. Elle étudie la musique baroque au conservatoire. Conservatoire. Florence. Ah, c'était un intéressant. C'était un Stephanie Oui, bien sûr, mais j'ai beaucoup de coups. Oh, nous sommes place de la Concorde au roi Florence. Au roi et à bientôt. So, it means, hi Christophe, Florence, sorry, Florence. 
what a nice surprise how are you i'm fine what about you very well thank you florence this is stephanie pleased to meet you nice to meet you stephanie is italian she studies baroque music at conservatory oh that's very interesting christophe do you speak italian no oh no but stephanie speak french very well stephanie do you have time to enjoy paris yes of course but i have a lot of classes oh we are at place the de la concorde that is a place that we call de la concorde goodbye flowers goodbye see you soon thank you now some pronunciation rules some general principles in french each sound is pronounced clearly each syllable is stressed equally with slight greater stress falling on the last syllable of a word so it is bonjour connaissance ami présent english and french share many sounds but french pronounce is quite different from the english french has many spelling for one sound used to pronounce pronunciation section in the manual and listen carefully on the tape for practice it is in the book and i am already giving you the pronunciation now these are some accents accent aigu accent khab accent sankar flex three accents okay these are the accents and uh, okay let's it uh, it is enough for today and tomorrow i am going to start the grammar portion thank you very much hello friends welcome to my youtube channel and i am going to teach you grammar of the first chapter so there is subject pronouns subject like a uh, sh sure, sh sure. then you tu see tu is informal and it is for family of one singular family singular informal singular so tu he or it is l she or it is l there is on on means one or it or we sometimes we it is it depends on condition in the uh, coming chapters i will explain you on now v is nu then u is u again there is u and this is formal singular and plural both if you are using plural u, u then you have to use wu and if you are using singular you can use tu and wu but tu is informal and wu is formal then they they for masculine is il they for family is els but if you have masculine and family both then you will you will use il okay so this is the difference between tu and wu mm, the thing i am telling already told you that tu is informal wu is wu is formal tu is singular wu is singular and plural both okay the auxiliary verb at and awa at means to be awa means to have so chasui listen the sound you have to learn this like a vocabulary chasui tu hai ele ele ae nu som vuzet il som el som jasui tu hai ele ele ae nu som vuzet il som el som na awa to have che tiwa ila ela on a nous avons vous avez ils sont elles sont nous avons vous avez ils sont elles sont then i am coming up to ir er verbs so parle to speak tu parles tu parles il parle elle parle au parle nous parlons vous parlez 
el pahlo el pahlo see if you have regular er verb there is a pattern there is a pattern to make verb conjugation in this video i am giving you that pattern by picture so i can explain you like we have some root and stem so the stem is p a r l pal sorry we have stem and radical sorry sorry stem and radical so stem is p a r l pal and radical is e r so in regular verb we just change the radical there are three types of verb in french er ir and re so in er we change if we change er so first with i we use e with t we use es with he she we use e with v use ons then ez then ent you can check in the next visitor like in visitor like in to study at to there you can check the same pattern is ending in the same pattern i will give you the pictures also for this that you can learn more and more so today you have to learn er verb conjugation with the regular pattern and to be to have and that's enough for today thank you so much see you on the next video bye hello friends welcome to the next video vocabulary i'm giving you some vocabularies to learn and i'm pronouncing that vocabulary ponchu bonsoir bonne nuit au revoir salut et à bientôt et demain achante achante de faire votre connaissance je me présente comme vous allez vous très bien merci Ça va pas mal. Merci. 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 Then bien sûr la musique Bagok, la conservatoire, la tombe, la Sophie, beaucoup de coups intéressant italien la plan profite de So learn this vocabulary today and do some exercises I am giving you the exercises in this video Okay bye Hello friends my name is Ankit and I am going to teach you French introduction how to introduce yourself in french it's very simple let's go on my name is ankit chama pel ankit jo ma pel ankit jo ma pel ankit i am 33 years old che thon thu a che thon thu a i live in india in lucknow chabi te ayand chabi te Yeah, we combine it. Chabite uh, in the uh, Lucknow. Chabite in the Lucknow. I'm an Indian. Chasi in the on. Chasi in the on. In the on. The on. Chasi in the on. See, in bracket we have any. Any is for family. I'm a masculine, so I will say chasi in the on. If uh, if some family call, so uh, she will call like. Chasi and Dion, and Dion. Okay, I'm a professor. Chasi, professor, professor. Chasi, professor. I work at B B F L. So it is. Jo thave, jo thave al B F L. Jo thave al B F L. BFL is my company. It's best foreign languages. So, la malo language atanjer. I speak Hindi, English, and French. 
Je parle in the anglais et français. I am vegetarian. Chasse vegetarian. Chasse vegetarian. So that's for today. See you tomorrow with next video. Bye bye. Take care. Salut, moi c'est Fred, j'ai 36 ans, je suis de Toulouse, diplômé d'une école de commerce. Je suis commercial chez un concessionnaire automobile. Je suis du genre extraverti, sociable, j'adore les contacts. Mon trip à moi c'est de sortir, m'amuser, mater le foot avec les potes, délirer avec les filles. Je suis quelqu'un de cool, j'aime pas me prendre la tête. Je laisse glisser. Je suis célibataire, j'étais avec quelqu'un pendant deux ans mais ça n'a pas marché. Je supportais plus ces reproches, pourquoi tu fais ci, pourquoi tu fais pas ça. Sur mon lieu de travail, je vois souvent passer des jolis petits lots. Et sur Facebook aussi. Mon job, c'est pas ma vie. Je fais mon boulot et je cherche pas midi à 14h. Mon chef est du genre chicaneur, alors que moi, je suis plutôt zen. J'aime pas trop les objectifs, les évaluations et les patrons prises de tête. Je suis pas non plus très fan des clients qui posent des tonnes de questions. Salut, moi c'est Fred, j'ai 36 ans, je suis de Toulouse. Diplômé d'une école de commerce, je suis commercial chez un concessionnaire automobile. Je suis du genre extraverti, sociable, j'adore les contacts. Mon trip à moi c'est de sortir, m'amuser, mater le foot avec les potes, délirer avec les filles. Je suis quelqu'un de cool, j'aime pas me prendre la tête. Je laisse glisser. Je suis célibataire, j'étais avec quelqu'un pendant deux ans mais ça a pas marché. Je supportais plus ces reproches, pourquoi tu fais ci, pourquoi tu fais pas ça. Sur mon lieu de travail, je vois souvent passer des jolis petits lots. Et sur Facebook aussi. Mon job, c'est pas ma vie. Je fais mon boulot et je cherche pas midi à 14h. Mon chef est du genre chicaneur, alors que moi, je suis plutôt zen. J'aime pas trop les objectifs, les évaluations et les patrons prises de tête. Je suis pas non plus très fan des clients qui posent des tonnes de questions. Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to talk about yourself in French. Firstly, you have to say hello, then name. Age, living place, then your business, schooling, graduation, etc. Or do you, or you are doing job. Then you have to say what type of person you are, like uh, social, spiritual, comedian, serious, melodramatic. Then which type of sports do you like? Do you like watching movies? You have to tell also that you are single or married, and about your love life. About your place, where do you work, and if you have a boss, then you have to tell about him also. So that's it for uh, that is for today. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Bye. Hello friends, my name is Ankit. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you interrogative. So, there are three ways of forming a question in French. First way is that write the sentence as it is and add a question mark at the end. It's called like an expression form. Like you express, like he eats bread. It's a simple form here. He eats bread, like in English. So, il mange du pain. Elle mange du pain. See, it's an expression form. You just have to express yourself. Elle mange du pain. Elle mange du pain. He eats of bread. Or he eats bread. He eats bread. It's like an expression. 
okay so first you can add just you have to add a question mark and mostly people don't use it but it is a form okay so the second form is uh, add the expression ask est hyphen c e q u e it means is it that add ask at the beginning of the sentence and add the question mark at the end you are in the cinema the your cinema the your cinema then the question form will be you are in the cinema are you in the cinema question form will be ask the your cinema ask the your cinema ask the your cinema it means is it that you are you are in the cinema okay now the second we have uh, one more thing after expression after the expression ask if the next word starts with a vowel vowel r a e i u y and h h is a semi vowel if we have the if the next word starts with a vowel then the expression becomes ask we will delete the e so it will be elmosh so askelmosh 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 so here we can see e s t dash c e q u then apostrophe i l so we join the two words q u e and i l because q e is ending with e then we have i l so we we deleted the e and put apostrophe on that so askelmosh okay So the third form is invert the subject and the verb and use a hyphen between them and add a question mark at the end so you just have to put the verb first then a hyphen then subject then full sentence and at the end put a question mark it is very simple so like we have a example here you are watching the television wo regarde la television wo he had la television so it is a simple form you are watching television you watch tele with the television the interrogative form is are you watching the television he had wo la television he had wo la television it's very simple we have put in the the verb first then a hyphen then wo then la then television watching you the television now if we have like uh, after the inversion if the verb ends with the vowel and the subject begins with a vowel then add hyphen t hyphen between them the letter t with two hyphens this facilitates the pronunciation see in the inversion form we cannot delete a vowel and put a first of and join the word so we do this form we do the hyphen t hyphen like il mange du poulet he eats chicken il mange du poulet the interrogative form will be mange til du poulet so we have so it's mange til du poulet mange is eat then hyphen then t then hyphen then il then du then poulet so mange til du poulet so it's simple you can understand it uh, how to use it so let's do some practice so now the toughest form of interrogative if the subject is a not a pronoun sorry it's not a pronoun but a noun like uh, what are pronoun i you he she these all are pronoun we they but it's not a pronoun it's a noun like car mobile computer anything else if the subject is not a pronoun but a noun then we begin the question with a noun use a comma then invert the verb and the relevant subject pronoun let me explain you see the car is black car is noun the car is black the form will be is the car black to then what will we do 
फर्स्टली वी विल पुट द कार लव वाते लव वाते देन अ कॉमा देन इज शी ब्लैक मीन्स लव वाते वी विल पुट द नाउन एज इट इज देन अ कॉमा देन वी विल डू ई एस टी ए मीन्स इज देन अ हाई फैन देन इफ इट इज प्लूरल वन वी विल डू इल्स आई एल एस इल इफ इट इज सिंगलर देन एल इफ इट इज मैस्कुलन सिंगलर देन वी विल डू इल सो बेसिकली द कार इज इज फैमिलन हेयर सो वी विल डू एल सो लव वाते एल नवा इज द कार द कार इज शी ब्लैक इट लिटरली मीन्स द कार इज शी ब्लैक ओके सो दिस दिस इज द फॉर्म do some practice uh, about this and uh, do some find some questions okay now the next have some question work now some question words question possible in french khombenda 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 how many how many come on How, como, how, Juan, when, Juan, when. Then we have Kel, 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 and Kel. The first Kel is uh, sorry. Four. All the four are means four mean which, but the first is for masculine. Kel, masculine is uh, which. then kel feminine then kel masculine plural then kel feminine plural okay then lakel 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 lekel lekel lakel lakel lekel lekel lakel lakel lekel lekel it means which one lakel is for masculine then lakel is for feminine lekel is for masculine plural then lekel is for feminine plural so i am repeating once again how many kombenda how como when kwan which kel 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 which one lakel lakel lekel lekel okay it's lakel lakel lekel lekel so kombenda como kwan kel 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 lakel lakel lekel lekel u where u from where do since when dafe kon why pukwa of which color dakel khula what is the time kela l at what time akela at what time akela how is the weather kel tom fatil how is the weather kel tom fatil what is this U S K C U S C. So now, again, U do da fe kwan pu kwa da kel kolo kelal a keler kel tom fatil K S K C K S K C. is it that ask is it that ask what ke who ki to whom aki about what daku who's daki is it that ask what ke who ki to whom aki about what daku who's daki thank you so much So guys if you like my video please like it and uh, give me a comment leave a comment on the comment box subscribe my channel press the bell icon and share as you can if you have any th questions you can ask me on the question box thank you so much
Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Je vais bien moi aussi. Comment vous appelez-vous? Je m'appelle Anurag et vous? Je m'appelle Ankit. Quel âge avez-vous? J'ai des ans et vous? J'ai 33 ans. Où habitez-vous? J'ai habité à Lucknow et vous? J'ai habité à Lucknow. Quelle est votre nationalité? Je suis Indien et vous? Je suis Indien aussi. D'accord, Anurag, à bientôt, au revoir. A bientôt, au revoir. Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel and today I am going to teach you French numbers. So without wasting time, let's start. Zero, un, tux, toi, quat, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, tous, tes, quatos, quinze, seis, dix, sept, Take sweet, take snuff, wang, wang e an, wang tus, wang tua, wang quat, wang sunk, wang sis, wang sept, wang vit, wang nuff, taunt, taunt e an, 
ทอนดุสทอนทัวกัวฮอนกัวฮอนเออนกัวฮอนดุสกัวฮอนทัวสังฮอนสุดเท่าสิบสี่เราใช้เหมือนกันเราใช้ 1,2,3 in the front of the numerals of 20, 10, 20, 30, 40 like uh, 21 is Wang uh, on 1, 1 uh, 20 and 1 22 is Wang Du's 122 okay so from now next so from 50 it's Sankhwant Sankhwant สังขวานเอออนสังขวานเอออนสังขวานดุสสังขวานดุสสังขวานทวะสังขวานทวะสังขวานขอดสังขวานขอดสังขวานสังสังขวานสังสังขวานซีสสังขวานซีสสังขวานเซปสังขวานเซปสังขวานวิดสังขวานวิดสังขวานนับสังขวานนับ Now sixty, sexan, sexan, sexan de an, sexan dos, sexan tua, sexan quat, sexan cinq, sexan six, sexan sept, sexan huit, sexan neuf, sexan dix, sexan dix. So from now. Seventy. How we create seventy? Seventy is like sixty and eleven. Then sixty, twelve, sixty, thirteen, sixty, fourteen, sixty means sixty plus fourteen. So fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. We add just like this. So now so exant eons. So exant eons. So exant dues. So exant tees. Sexan Kratos, Sexan Kins, Sexan Cis, Sexan Decept, Sexan Dis Vit, Sexan Dis Vit, Sexan Dis Nuff. So we just have to add sixty and eleven, sixty twelve, sixty thirteen, sixty fourteen, sixty fifteen, sixty sixteen, sixty seventeen, sixty eighteen, sixty and nineteen. Just we have to add it. Okay. So now from 80 to 99, 80 to 99, what is 80? 80 is Kwat Wangs, Kwat means 4, Wangs means 20. So firstly we will put 4, then 20, so it's 80. So Kwat Wangs, Kwat Wangan, Kwat Wang Dus, Kwat Wang Tua, Kwat Wang Kwat, Kwat Wang Sing, Kwat Wang Sis, Kwat Wang Sep, Quat one wheat, quat one nuff, quat one this. Now we will add forty, four, twenty, and eleven. So quat one owns, quat one dos, quat one this, quat one quatos, quat one kings, quat one sis, quat one this sept, quat one this wheat, quat one this nuff. In nineties we just have four, then twenty means four into twenty plus eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, etc. Okay, so now from 100 to 114, it's very simple, like 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 111, 12, 113, 114, we we'll, read we'll like in English, so it's simple in French also, son, son, un, son, douze, son, toi, son, quat, son, cinq, son, six, son, sep, son, vet, son, neuf, son, dix, son, un, Satus, satis, sakhatos. Again, sang, sang an, satus, satwa, sangkhat, sang sang, sang sis, sang sep, sang vid, sang naf, sang dis, sang ons, sang dus, sang tis, and sangkhatos. So I think it's very simple. You can you can learn it very fast. Okay. So now for next. So now it's 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 
सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन हंड्रेड फिर इट्स वेरी सिंपल दुसन थुआसन क्वासन संगसन सिसन सेपसन बीतसन नफसन सी इट्स वेरी इजी हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड ओके द नंबर्स वन थाउजेंड एंड ग्रेटर सो नेवर एड एन एस टू मे या वी कॉल इट मे एम आई डबल एल ई इट्स मे सो वन थाउजेंड इट्स मे मे अन मे दोस मे दिस मे एस वॉन्ग मे थॉन मे ऑन्स मे वंग थोक मे तु सॉन मे तु सॉन संखान थोक मे खात सॉन तुस मे तुस मे संग सॉन तुस मे से संग सॉन थे तेस मे सो दिस इज फ्रॉम वन थाउजेंड to 10000 okay so now some ordinal number so phamea phamea is first so phamea without e is for masculine and with e for feminine so phamea so now to say to azam quatem sanquem सीसेम सेप्थेम वीथेम नवेम तिजेम वेम वंग एट अनेम वंग ए अनेम वंग तुसेम वंग थुआसेम थॉन्थेम खुआखेम संखेम सो इट्स इन अफ फॉर टूडे we have completed our numbers cardinal and ordinal please subscribe and like my youtube channel thank you so much Hello friends my name is Ankit welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to teach you interrogative so there are three ways of forming a question in french first way is that write the sentence as it is and add a question mark at the end it's called like a expression form like you express like he eats bread it's a simple form here he eats bread like in english so il mange du pain Il mange du pain. See, it's an expression form. You just have to express yourself. Il mange du pain. Il mange du pain. He eats of bread or he eats bread. He eats bread. It's like an expression. Okay. So first, you can add. Just you have to add a question mark, and mostly people don't use it, but it is a form. Okay. so the second form is uh, add the expression ask e s t hyphen c e q u e it means is it that add ask at the beginning of the sentence and add the question mark at the end you are in the cinema to your cinema to your cinema then the question form will be you are in the cinema are you in the cinema question form will be ask to your cinema 
ask to your cinema ask to your cinema it means is it that you are you are in the cinema okay now the second we have uh, one more thing after expression after the expression ask if the next word starts with a vowel vowel r a e i u y and h h is a semi vowel if we have the if the next word starts with a vowel then the expression becomes ask we will delete the e so it will be elmosh so ask elmosh ask elmosh ask elmosh so here we can see e s t dash c e q u then apostrophe i l so we join the two words q u e and i l because q e is ending with e then we have i l so we we deleted the e and put apostrophe on that so ask elmosh okay So the third form is invert the subject and the verb and use a hyphen between them and add a question mark at the end so you just have to put the verb first then a hyphen then subject then full sentence and at the end put a question mark it is very simple so like we have a example here you are watching the television wo regarde la television wo he had la television so it is a simple form you are watching television you watch tele with the television the interrogative form is are you watching the television he had wo la television he had wo la television it's very simple we have put in the the verb first then a hyphen then wo then la then television watching you the television now if we have like uh, after the inversion if the verb ends with the vowel and the subject begins with a vowel then add hyphen t hyphen between them the letter t with two hyphens this facilitates the pronunciation see in the inversion form we cannot delete a vowel and put a first of and join the word so we do this form we do the hyphen t hyphen like il mange du poulet he eats chicken il mange du poulet the interrogative form will be mange til du poulet so we have so it's mange til du poulet mange is eat then hyphen then t then hyphen then il then du then poulet so mange til du poulet so it's simple you can understand it uh, how to use it so let's do some practice so now the toughest form of interrogative if the subject is a not a pronoun sorry it's not a pronoun but a noun like uh, what are pronoun i you he she these all are pronoun we they but it's not a pronoun it's a noun like car mobile computer anything else if the subject is not a pronoun but a noun then we begin the question with a noun use a comma then invert the verb and the relevant subject pronoun let me explain you see the car is black car is noun the car is black the form will be is the car black to then what will we do firstly we will put the car la voiture la voiture then a comma then is she black means la voiture we will put the noun as it is then a comma then we will do est a means is then a hyphen then if it is plural one we will do uh ils ils il uh, if it is singular then uh, l if it is masculine singular then we will do il so basically the car is uh, feminine here so we will do l so la voiture 
ए एल नोआ इज द कार द कार इज शी ब्लैक इट लिटरली मीन्स द कार इज शी ब्लैक ओके सो दिस दिस इज द फॉर्म डू सम प्रैक्टिस अबाउट दिस एंड डू सम फाइंड सम क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट हैव सम क्वेश्चन वो Now some question words. Question possible in French. Combien da? Combien da? Combien da? How many? How many? Como? How? Como? How? Quan? When? Quan? When? Then we have quel, 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 and quel. The first kel is uh, sorry four all the four are means four mean which but the first is for masculine kel masculine is uh, which then kel feminine then kel masculine plural then kel feminine plural okay then lakel 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 lekel lekel lakel lakel lekel lekel lakel lakel lekel lekel it means which one lakel is for masculine then lakel is for feminine lekel is for masculine plural then lekel is for feminine plural so i am repeating once again how many kombenda how como when quan which kel 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 which one lakel lakel lekel lekel okay it's lakel lakel lekel lekel so common the como quan kel 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 lakel lakel lekel lekel u where u from where do since when dafwe quan why pukwa of which color dakel khula what is the time kela l at what time akela at what time akela how is the weather kel tom fatil how is the weather kel tom fatil what is this u s k s e u s s e so now again u do dafe khan pu khwa dakel kolo kelal akelar kel tom fatil kes se kes se is it that ask is it that ask what ke who ki to whom aki about what daku who's daki is it that ask what ke who ki to whom aki about what daku who's daki thank you so much so guys if you like my video please like it and uh, give me a comment leave a comment on the comment box subscribe my channel press the bell icon and share as you can if you have any th questions you can ask me on the question box thank you so much